Hey guys, Julian here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your NT1 fifth generation to either an audio interface or a computer to get recording in no time. Thanks to its incredible dual connect output, the NT1 fifth generation features both an XLR output for connecting to an audio interface, a mixer, a console, or basically any other device with an XLR input, or it can be connected directly to a computer via USB. Let's start by connecting the mic to an audio interface like the AI1, which we will plug into our computer here. First, turn down the input level on your interface to avoid any unexpected loud sounds when you're connecting the mic. Next, plug the female end of the included XLR cable with the three holes into the base of your NT1 fifth gen mic, and then plug the male end of the cable into your audio interface. The NT1 fifth gen is a condenser microphone, so it does require 48 volts phantom power to function via XLR. Almost all audio interfaces, mixers, and devices with XLR inputs can supply phantom power. On the AI1, this is activated by pressing the gain knob, but this will be different depending on your device. If you're lost, just look for a symbol that says P48. This should be where you can activate phantom power. Okay, now that your mic has power, simply plug a pair of headphones into the headphone output on your interface, and then you can turn up the mic input gain level. Next, you will need to select your audio interface as your input and your output device in your audio software. If you are instead using the USB connection, you don't actually need an external audio interface because the NT1 fifth generation actually has an audio interface built in. This handles the process of converting the analog signal from your microphone into a digital signal ready to be sent to your computer, which is one of the main functions of an audio interface. To connect to a computer, simply plug one end of the included USB-C cable into your computer and the other end into the base of your NT1 fifth generation. You'll see the port nestled between the XLR connector pins at the bottom of the mic. The NT1 fifth generation comes with its own USB-C to C cable, if your computer doesn't have a USB-C port, however, you'll need to use a USB-A to USB-C cable like the Rode SC18. Once connected, simply select the NT1 5th Gen as your input device in your audio software. You can monitor your audio using your computer's inbuilt headphone output or even an external audio interface if you have one. So now you're plugged in via USB and you are ready to record. To find out more about how to monitor your audio, as well as the awesome features that the NT1 fifth generation's digital USB output offers, like 32-bit float recording and adding digital processing, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and happy recording.